thanks for visiting this is your weekly reading for february the 5th to february the 11th and as i always ask nicely i hope i hope it's nicely if you like this reading please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to and i've shuffled everything's ready so let's start your reading for leo so the first card you have you passed is the eight of swords um yeah so you've been through a time where I'm just seeing, you know, you could have been juggling with trying to make a decision. It's some sort of decision you're really um, worried about, struggling with. And I'm just seeing you really doubting yourself. You're doubting, maybe you're doubting your ability. Maybe you're doubting that, um, yeah, I'm seeing that maybe you couldn't really trust yourself to make the right choice at this time. Um, so, yes, you just really, really weren't trusting yourself. You're really, really worried about this. And you just didn't know if you were going to be able to make the right choice. That's what I'm seeing. And you know, this was a really, this was a really hard decision to make, um, and really, really stressful as well. But you're also letting your emotions make the decision a lot worse than it actually was. It's like your emotions are really clouding everything. Um, and this was a hard decision. I'm not saying it was an easy decision, but yeah, it was a hard decision. But you know, if you can see this card. Um, the cloth that's tied around this woman isn't very tight. It isn't all that tight. And also she has swords um, behind her, but there's none in front of her. There aren't any swords in front of her. So, you know, if she made the effort, she'd be able to move forward. And it wouldn't be easy, of course, if you're tied and you're blindfolded, it's not easy to move forward. So I do understand it was difficult. It was a very difficult decision to make, but it wasn't as dis it wasn't as difficult as you were feeling it was at the time. You know, she's really letting herself get stuck in this card. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, so yes, of course, this is difficult. I understand this was a difficult situation to get out of. But, you know, your emotions were um, getting in the way of your rational thoughts at this time. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the next card you have your past is the Two of Pentacles. So yes, um, there are some solutions that you had going around and around in your head. And I don't think they were actually real solutions, but you were thinking, oh, maybe I could do this, maybe I did that, maybe this is right, that, maybe this is wrong. So there weren't actual real solutions. There were some po possible solutions going around, but you just weren't sure. You were, you were just letting these go round and round and round in your head. And it just all of them felt bad and it was really stressful. And you just didn't think you'd ever get to the end or come to this decision. Um, and you know what I'm seeing is if you look at these pentacles they're in, inside an infinity symbol so these these are going around and round and round and round forever or they seem to be going around forever it was like oh I just can't see the end to this can I find a solution to this I can't it's going round and round and round forever and that's how you're feeling at the time so yes this problem could have been causing some sort of an imbalance in other areas of your life as well because you're so focused on this it was these things were going round and round and round in your head so much that you just couldn't um, concentrate on a lot of other things that were going on in your life at the time that's what I'm seeing for that um, yeah so the last card you have your past is the Hierophant so yes Yes, I'm seeing this is a message for you. This is a message for you to take this problem um, to a higher power, if you can, if that's what you believe, if that's what you do. Um, but even if you don't, you can take this to somewhere calm. You can go and sit down somewhere calm and try and get some calm into your life. Um, I know this is in the past, so you may have already done this. You may have already gotten through this problem. Um, but if not, if this resonates and you haven't gotten through this problem yet, um, try and you know either take some time out to meditate if you do this or even pray if you do this or get some quiet time to yourself whatever you do whatever feels comfortable to you whatever you choose to do you need some calm you need some quiet in your heart and in your head and all around you and before you can get your head to clear and you know sort out what you need to do because you can't actually work out a solution you can't find a solution with everything going round and round and round in your head you need to find some quiet you need to find some peace before you can act you can actually um come to this decision that's what i'm seeing so you may have already done this this is in the past um the first card you have here present is the three of wands so yes you have someone around you um this person wants to help you with something. I'm thinking they want to step forward and help you. They can see that you're, you know, you're struggling with some things and they want to come and help you. So, you know, it could be about this decision, could be about something else, could be about a lot of things. Um, but I'm seeing that, yes, what I'm seeing here is that um, you're good at helping people. You're really good at helping people. You're strong. People see you as strong. People come to you for help. People lean on you. You're Leo. You're the lion. Of course, you're strong. 
you have lots of strength around you. Um, and yes, people ask you for advice even sometimes. Um, they, they lean on you for help and things like that. Um, but yes, you're good, at, you're good at giving advice when they ask you, you're good at helping. But when they don't ask, you don't butt in or anything, but you do help people when they need it. But you're not very good at, um, yes, maybe you're not very good at taking advice, that's what I'm seeing. Or, you know, letting people help you. So you like to be able to rely on yourself. You want to really be self-reliant. You don't like letting people help you. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, you know, this person who's older, I'm seeing this is a person who's older than you that wants to help you. This is someone who could really, really help you. They could help you to really see things in a new way is what I'm seeing. And, you know, it's important for you to be able to see things in a new way, especially if this decision, this horrible decision in the Eight of Swords. But, you know, I'm not seeing you want to let this person help you. But if you did let this person help you, if you do decide to let this person help you, this is in your present. They will be helpful. They will help you. They will be there for you. And they will be useful as well in what they say to you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so the next card you have your present is the Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Yes, I'm so glad you have this card. I love this card. Obviously, I love this card. Um, yes, yeah, so for single people who are looking for a relationship, what I'm seeing is that um, there could be someone really important. You've got the ace. Someone really important is coming into your life if they're not already there. They might. I'm, I'm seeing that they could already be there, um, but they could be coming in. It, it's one or the other, but they're going to be around you. And they're a very, very stable person. This person is a really, they're really sure of themselves. They're strong in themselves. And I'm seeing, um, they have job stability. So they have, they could have a really stable job. They could have a really responsible job. People look up to them. They're very stable. They, you know, yes, they have a very, very important job or something like that. So they're also quite a cautious person and you know they like to think about things really really carefully before they jump in so that's why I'm seeing that's why I was seeing that they could already be there they could just be a friend of yours um, because what I'm seeing is they build up to things slowly so maybe they're your friend or maybe they've been your friend for a while and they're building up to things but they are interested in you this is a really big important person but they think very carefully before they jump in so yes you might already know this person, they might be your friend. Um, and yes, they like to take their time, they like to get to know people slowly. Um, yes, but also I'm seeing with this card, you're motivated as well. You're motivated in a lot of other areas of your life at this time. This card's giving you a lot of strength. You're having a lot of strength at this time. You're a lot stronger and a lot more stable than you have been. Um, you know, in your past, you had all this stuff going around in your head. You're, you're a lot stronger now at this time. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, the last card you have your present is the Three of Pentacles. So yes, again, I'm seeing for single people, this is going on with the Ace of Pentacles, following on from the Ace of Pentacles. Um, yes, if you're thinking about a relationship with this person, okay, this is what I'm seeing. Three wheels. This is what I'm seeing with this Three of Pentacles. I'm seeing three wheels. Okay, they take their work. They take this person takes their work very very seriously they're in a responsible job and of course you know this is a good thing this isn't a bad thing to take your job seriously or your responsibilities seriously but that's what they're like um, they're really really work focused so yes when I see this card I'm seeing three wheels I'm seeing a third wheel the term third wheel means you know when there are two people there there's a third person that one or both people don't want there. So it's like someone in the way, a third wheel. Now at this, you know, I'm not seeing a third person. I'm not seeing a person. What I'm seeing is that their job is going to be in the way, not in the way, but what I'm seeing is that um, if you expect this, this person takes their job seriously. They spend a lot of time at work. They spend a lot of time concentrating on work. There could be some sort of a clash if you expect this person to spend a lot of time with you. That's what I'm seeing because they won't be able to do that. They spend a lot of time on work. If they're not working, they're thinking about it. That's what I see about this person. So if you're looking to be involved with this person, just be aware of that. Just be aware of this. That's what they're like. And they're not going to change. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is just something you need to be aware of. Okay, so the first card you have for your future is the chariot. Yes. I like the chariot. I like moving. Um, I'm sensing that, um, 
yes, this is about something this is about something about work or something related to work in some way. So it could be about a project, could be about a side business, you might be involved in a side business, but I'm seeing there's some sort of really, there's, there's quite a good opportunity or some sort of big project that's going to be coming up for you. And this is going to be giving you a huge amount of experience and this experience will really be useful for you in your future. This is fantastic to have more experience in this certain area. Um, um, this will be fantastic for you if you do this. Um, I'm seeing there's a lot of hard work involved. Animals are seeing there will be a few roadblocks or bumps in the road as you're traveling along, something like that. Um, but you'll be able to work around them. You'll be able to move around them, flow around them quite well. Um, they'll be there, they'll be a bit frustrating, but they won't be a disaster. So yes, if this resonates, please say yes to this opportunity. Please say yes to this opportunity. Because I'm, I'm just seeing you being tempted to say no to this because this seems like quite a big opportunity, so it seems like a great big daunting thing in front of you that's huge, like a big mountain, and you think, I can never climb this, this is impossible. But you can climb it one step at a time. You just do one step, okay, that's easier, then you do another step. You can do this, it's not so bad, it seems overwhelming. It's going to seem overwhelming, this is in your future, but it isn't as bad. Um, Yes, and there are also so many good things coming out of this thing, this opportunity. So please say yes to this. If this comes along, if it resonates with you, say yes. Say yes to this opportunity. Don't say no. Um, the next card you have in your future is the Emperor. So yes, more work. I'm seeing more work here with the Emperor. So you're going to be working really hard. You're going to be work, working really hard on, on this, whatever this thing is, the opportunity. Could be something else, but I'm seeing more hard work with this. Um, and you know you have some people around you who can help you to lessen your load to make you you know have more time to be able to work more efficiently or do more things or even rest um but you don't want to rest at this time that's not what i'm seeing um you could ask people to help you but i'm not seeing you feeling that you can trust them in a way you feel that they won't do a proper job you feel that only you can do the best job and these people don't know what they're doing or they're not as good as you or something like that. They won't be able to do it properly. Now, you do have capable people around you. They could do this, but you don't feel that they can. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's just that you have this really set way of doing things and you don't think anyone can quite do things in the way that you like. So, you know, if you want to give yourself this burden, that's what you do, because I'm not saying you have a big burden, but I'm saying that, you know, there are people that will ease your load. It doesn't matter if things aren't perfect, but, you know, that's how you are at this time. You're going to be very, very, um, very, you want things done in a set way. You want things done in the way that you want them to be, and you just don't want other people to come and do things in a different way. That's what I'm seeing. You're kind of set in the way you want to do things. Okay, so the last card you have in your future is Justice, yes. So this could be this could be the time when you're going to be able to make this decision because you've been gaining in strength since the time of your past when you had this mess going around in your head. Um, you might be able to make this decision at this time, this one in the Eight of Swords. Um, Yes, you have the emperor next to this as well. So, so much strength and balance and, you know, a really, really good um, feeling of what's right and what's wrong as well as what I'm seeing here. So, you're going to be seeing things in a more systematic way, in a more um, non-emotional way, in a more objective way. And yes, you'll be able to weigh things up properly with a clear head. And you'll have, yes, a very, very clear sense of balance, a clear sense of what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, if you're going to try, yeah, if anyone's going to be sneaky, if anyone's going to be really difficult with you, or try and, you know, be dishonest or do something like that, you're going to come out and say, you're going to come out and you're going to say, hey, whatever you're going to say, but you're not going to put up with rubbish at this time. You have a really, really strong, you will have a really strong sense of what's right and what's wrong because you have you know you have the emperor and justice together and the chariot so you're pushing forward you're not taking any nonsense that's what i'm seeing so leo i hope this resonated um general readings can't always resonate with every single person in the whole world of course but again if you like this reading please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to i genuinely i'd really appreciate that thank you so much for watching